the problem with tax evasion is... Apart from the cuts to the disabled and the sick and the attacks on people with cancer and stroke... Apart from that... Apart from zero-hour contracts, poverty wages... Apart from that... Apart from increases in child poverty... And apart from that... Apart from the destruction of the NHS... The, 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 the taking away of nurses' bursaries, the privatisation of, 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 of infrastructure, of giving contracts to private health care. And apart from that. Apart from the junior doctor's debacle. And apart from that. Apart from the 100% academisation of our children's bloody education. Placing them into their hands, the full privatisation of, of all our schools, putting them into the hands of vulture capitalists, Tory pie, hedge funding, private equity, pigs at the trough of public money. And apart from that... Apart from the collapse of social housing, David Cameron's homeowning democracy. And apart from that... Apart from rising bloody ha household debt, apart from, 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 from ballooning bloody house prices, giving people the insecure... And apart from that... Apart from the destruction of, of, of... Apart from taking away the bloody... The cuts to, to, to local councils, the obliteration of social care... You know, the shutting down of community centres. Apart from... But apart from all of that... Yeah, like you! Apart from all of that... Apart from all of that... Well, actually... All of that is exactly what is wrong with tax evasion. You see, the state, a.k.a. the government, cannot afford to do any of these things because it does not have the money it should have received via taxation. Now, there are different methods used to evade tax. I mean, the one piece of advice I would give to uh, Bill is there are some pretty clever financial products which enable you to, in effect, pass on your home or the value of your home to your uh, son or daughter and, uh, well, and then get personal care paid for by the state. I probably shouldn't be advocating this on All right, television. One of those methods is hiding your money in overseas accounts, a.k.a offshore accounts, a.k.a. tax havens, a.k.a. tax evasion. According to Investopedia.com, tax havens have been around for quite some time, with some historians even mentioning them in the form of isolated islands during the time of the ancient Greeks. The oldest tax havens of our times include Liechtenstein, Switzerland and Panama. Each of which is believed to date back to the 1920s. Now we got the Panama thing. I mean, what is it? Why doesn't anybody want to pay taxes and just fix the, the, the country, make everybody have a good life? And well, you know, it's really crazy. That's a great question, Danny. I think it's because the real, real criminals, the ones in their suits and the ties and who have, you know, nice houses and drive nice cars and, and wear shiny shoes and etc etc those criminals well no one's looking at them no one's paying attention to them so then we can get generations because i don't know if it was just uh cameron's dad maybe granddad as well might have done this Danielle, that. who knows look i don't begrudge anyone for having money for working hard and and making money and getting themselves to a level where they're rich or they would be considered rich. Nothing wrong with that at all. Pay your fair share. There's nothing wrong with that either. It's just common sense. You're using the resources that everyone else's taxes have paid for for you to make your money. Whatever country you're based in, whenever you, you, you fly into the airport there, you drive on the roads there to get from the airport to your office, you know, you might be some high-flying executive or whatever who's always here, there, and, and everywhere in their private jet. There's roads that, that you're still going to drive onto, right? There's food, there's shops where you're going to get your food from, or restaurants, they have to source their things. It's just, it makes sense. It makes the world, like, the world keeps going round. No one's saying that you sh that if you're rich, you should then be poor. That's not what anyone's saying. We're saying pay your fair share. Otherwise, 
We can't afford to look after our sick. We can't afford to look after our disabled. We can't afford to look after the workers. We can't afford to look after the NHS. We can't afford to look after our schools. We can't afford any more bloody social care in our communities. We've got to shut the libraries, the centres. And that, my friends, is the problem with tax evasion. Thank you.